Sir Topham Hatt's engines like to look clean, bright, and shiny. They love being washed down and having their brass polished until it gleams. James was in the workshop being repainted. He was beside himself with joy. James thought being repainted meant he was special. The workmen painted and polished for hour upon hour. Then with new paint shining, brass twinkling, and blacking black, James returned to Titmus Sheds. Percy was worried. He wasn't being repainted, and he wasn't red. Does this mean Sir Topham Hatt doesn't think I'm special? He asked. Looking splendid is not the same as being really useful, said Thomas firmly. But best of all is being really useful and looking splendid, like me, said James cheerfully. Before Thomas could say anything else, James closed his eyes and fell happily asleep. The next morning, all the engines were very busy. Percy was working at the coal plant. Thomas and Emily were taking passengers up and down the branch. James. He told him to join Percy at the coal plant at once. The coal cars must reach Brendan Docks before the boat sails, so no dilly-dally, he said. Yes, sir, said James, and he set off at once. <laughs> James had 
to put his brakes on with a jump. Cole tumbled out of the troublesome trucks, landing on James. James was cross and bit the troublesome trucks as hard as he could. More Cole flew out. Now James didn't want to be seen. He was as dirty as he had ever been. But on his way to the docks, he kept passing his friends. He passed Emily. And Edward. And Thomas. Thomas thought the only red thing left on James was his face. James trundled into Brendan Docks. He hoped no one would see him. Express. He could not believe his eyes. He thought James was the grubbiest, grimiest, dustiest, dirtiest engine he had ever seen. Despite feeling foolish, even James had to smile. 